last May to put this event together. Um, my title is Mini Marathon Steering Chair, so my event actually happened a couple weeks ago, brought in high school students to the university. They did a smaller version of this. We stood for seven hours, same thing, raising money for Mercy Children's Hospital. Okay, and what, what does Dance Marathon mean to you? So, doing it for four years, I danced my freshman year, court committee the last two years, and now steering, and I've gotten to know the Miracle families and the Miracle children, and they have just become a part of my family. Um, earlier, one of the Miracle kids came in, and I was just like, Brent, he comes over and gives me a big hug. You know, it's just, it's just how it is with all the families. They've become family to me, and, and I can't imagine not knowing them throughout college, but it's just a matter of, you know, doing something so much bigger than myself for kids like Brent and kids like Marissa and things like that. You know, we get to meet those kids here. But sometimes you don't really put into perspective that there are kids in the hospitals that don't get to come to events like this. You know, um, a couple days ago, WTOL just posted that one of the Miracle Kids that they featured on their telethon last year passed away the same day they did their telethon this year. So it just kind of reminds us that not all our Miracle Kids get to make it this far to come to events like this to celebrate the life that they've come. And, you know, they've, they've gone through so much struggle and now they're here celebrating. So it just kind of... You know, we do it for them, for the kids that are here, and for the kids that don't get the opportunity to do it. Well, it's Dance Marathon is going strong in our eight. We're standing for the kids who can't, but stay tuned.